to the channel, it's your girl Lissy, and today guys, we're gonna be watching and reacting to some of the world's craziest, most deadliest, and insane rides and roller coasters ever made in the entire world. If you guys love theme parks and roller coasters, be sure to smash the like on today's video. If today's video gets to 10,000 likes, I will do a part two talking about the most craziest theme park rides, or maybe even theme parks in another video. Also, if you guys have not hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the subscribe button to join the family today, guys, because a lot of you guys are not subscribed, and I don't want you guys to miss out on my weekly videos. Also, I wanna say congratulations to today's daily shout out winners, congratulations. And if you guys wanna win a shout out like these lucky people, leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in the next video. But without further ado, let's get on to watching some of the world's craziest, most extreme rides ever made. Okay guys, so this first TikTok we're looking at is actually a homemade coaster. They said, so I built a backyard roller coaster this year and here are the best things that came out of it. This is so cool, I need to see it. No way. And there's like water shooting out of it. That looks so much fun. I would wanna build a roller coaster in my backyard. It kind of reminds me of like a Phineas and Ferb moment. Honestly, I'm here for it. Even the news came out to record this. Look at that. Okay, DIY backyard coaster. Now that sounds like summer plans. That would be so much fun. Wait, what? They put bowling pins? Yo, okay, that is so crazy. I want to make a roller coaster in my backyard. All right, so this next coaster might be one of the most scariest ones I've seen in my entire life. Take a look at this, guys. So it goes all the way up and it goes off the track. I don't know how this is physically even possible. And then back onto the track. What? Okay, would you guys ride this ride? Comment down below. Let me know. I don't even think you could pay me money to ride that ride. Honestly, I'd be having a heart attack right about there once I notice that I'm off the track. Like, what? Are they insane? Imagine if it got windy, just like a little bit windy, and you kind of lost balance of where you were gonna land on the track, guys. That would be so spooky. <laughs> okay, this next one I would probably go on. If you guys couldn't tell, this is a roller coaster that actually goes through the middle of a mountain. I'm pretty sure this is like in Colorado or something. I saw something like this before, and I was like, I need to do it. Sometime in my life, I'm gonna go on one of these coasters. It's gonna happen. Whoa, it literally goes to the center of an actual mountain. That looks like so much fun. I wonder where this one is. Honestly, I don't know if it's Colorado. It might not be Colorado, but I would definitely go on this ride. Let me know if you guys would go on it. It looks kind of fun. It's kind of scary, but it's so pretty. I mean, look at that view that you're getting. Like, that is so cool. All right, so this next one, I think, is another DIY homemade coaster, but I'm here for it. Wait a second. The girl who's pedaling is pushing the, like, power for the coaster? What? So the more she pedals, the more they, like, move on the coaster. That's one way to get your workout on. And honestly, I respect the grind. Yo, this is crazy. Is she ever gonna pedal enough to get her up to the top up there? To get them up there, at least. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that is so cool. I wonder how they did that or how they made it like that. That is so extra. Honestly, though, that's a fun way to work out. Pedaling your power a coaster? That is so neat. Okay, so this next one might not exactly be a coaster, but uh, it is a thrill ride and it was interesting. So there's a huge gorilla here and uh, people say this is one of the scariest rides in the world. So I needed to take a look for myself. Whoa. Okay, I already could feel the secondhand dizziness watching this video, okay, guys? Whoa! The way they'd be twirling around and stuff would make me super sick, okay? Imagine eating a bunch of food and then going on that gorilla ride. Yo, I don't know about that one. Honestly, it kind of looks fun, though, in, like, a weird way. I don't know. Would you guys ride that? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, gosh. They are stuck. Wait, they're stuck at the top of that? Yo, that looks at least, like, almost 100 feet in the air, probably. Oh, gosh, no. Okay, I'm never riding this again. Oh, is that, like, a dropping tower? That looks so horrifying. Imagine you get stuck at the top of like your favorite roller coaster or something. You might not want to go back on it after that because honestly, how do they get off? Once they're stuck up there, getting off is going to be quite a mission. I'm just saying. And that's probably my biggest fear about riding any coaster is like getting stuck on the top of it. Oh gosh, that'd be so scary. Coaster flips you around the whole time. Like the whole, whole time you're just spinning around. I've been on a coaster like that somewhere at Six Flags and it made me pretty sick, but I want to see what this one is. Oh, maybe this is the same coaster. That's the same coaster. It was this one, the Joker at Six Flags. I went on this ride with my friend and the whole time I was flipping around like this. Oh my God. That easily was one of the scariest coasters of my life and it made me pretty dizzy afterwards. I went on this exact one though. So I know, I know the second half pain of this one. It was a crazy ride though. Oh my gosh, look at his feet. It literally doesn't stop spinning you. I forgot 
forgot how intense that was. <laughs> okay, kick the car. This one is actually on my bucket list of things I want to do someday because I'm insane. Okay, I like I like a little bit of thrill in my life. But King the Car is at the Six Flags Great Adventure, and it is record-breaking coaster that has um, one of the highest points that a coaster has ever had. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at that launch, and it has a lot of rollbacks because it's so high up, and sometimes it doesn't have enough like force to get to the top. But whoa! Look at that like down angle view, and they do a little twist. Oh my goodness! But it looks so much fun. I would definitely ride the King to Car coaster. What about you guys? Would you guys ride it? I sure would. You didn't have to pay me to do that. I just want to do it. The scariest ride in the world. You know what? You guys are gonna think I'm crazy after I tell you the tea on this one. I've been on these rides. Yes, this tower right here in the middle of Las Vegas called the Strat. There is rides at the very top of this very tall, like couple hundred feet tower or whatever it is. And uh, I went on them. So take a look for yourself and uh, tell me how crazy I am in the comments down below. Maybe I'll film myself doing it next time and show you guys how insane I am. I don't know. Okay, so there is the amusement park right there. There's like three different rides. That one's the big shot in the middle. I forgot, uh, I think the insanity and another one. Yeah, so this one right here is like the power tower, sort of like big shot one. This one like shoots you up and it goes up and down. Would you do it? I've already done it. I've already done it. But this is the next ride that they have on the tower. I haven't even shown you guys insanity. But this one I also went on and it's like a coaster that just like slides you over the edge of the entire city and you almost die. Take a look. <gasps> oh, if that broke, you would fall hundreds of feet to your death. Like no joke, you would be done. If that ride breaks, it's over, you're done. And I rode that alone just like that guy. See, he's the only one on there because people don't wanna take risks, okay? I was, I don't know what I was thinking that day. I was just feeling a little risky. Oh my gosh, he's like, woo! As he sees his life flash before his eyes. <laughs> I've been there, buddy, I know that feeling. He's shaking his head, he's like, no, he's regretting it now. He's like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done this today. Ha, the way he's just waving, he's like, hi, I might die. <laughs> That's so scary. I'm crazy for going on that, aren't I, guys? I don't know. <laughs> do it let me know spinning crazy ride yo okay let's see what's gonna happen on this one. Oh, that's we oh what yo i would not if that's the real speed i really hope this video is sped up i would die on there okay that is too fast that makes me sick just watching it like my stomach hurts right now just watching this video there's no way i would ride that if that's the full speed i'm out count me out all right um yeah all those people are gonna be throwing up their lunch and their breakfasts like all of it <laughs> Let's ride Everest front row. Everest, isn't this the Disney coaster? Oh, this is the Disney coaster. I went on this one with my friends. This one's so much fun. And the view of this one is so pretty. It's definitely one of my favorite Disney World rides. Oh, the track is so fun. There's something a little bit scary about this ride though, and I forgot what it was. Oh, oh, I think I know. At the end of this, you guys will see it in a second. The track actually like splits off. Take a look. Wait for it, wait for it. Right there, look. See, the track is broken. Oh my gosh, what are you gonna do if the track is broken? And then you look over the view you, and then all of a sudden you're rolling backwards. Ah, it's so scary, but it's such a fun ride. I could ride that ride like 10 times in a row, okay? You wouldn't even have to pay me. It's a good ride. All right, so this one says some of the most scariest rides ever. The first one is the Vanish Coaster, and this one's in Japan. I'm curious of this. I've never heard of it before. Ooh, okay. Um, makes riders disappear upon hitting water. Whoa, they just went inside. What? They went into the water. Under the water. No way. They went under the sea. All right, so this one is, I believe, the same coaster. It's just showing a different point of view. Yeah, it's the one that goes under the water still. That is so cool. No way. All right, the next one is called the Sky Screamer, and this one's in New Jersey. It starts off gently, slowly, it begins to swirl and revolve around the center. Okay. I like swing rides for the most of it. Once you go up, you get cranked to the sky. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't like this kind of swing ride. I saw one like this at Six Flags, and it was like way, 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 way up. And um, yeah, you couldn't pay me to do that because it was like 100 feet in the. Oh my gosh. Look how fast they're spinning. Yep, nope, that's it's not happening. I am not gonna die like that someday. <laughs> oh, the Incredicoaster. This is one of my favorite Disneyland rides. This one is superior, okay? The DCA side, I love this ride. That's my favorite on the DCA side. This one in the Mission Breakout. But check this out. Look at the launch of this ride. It's so cool. Check this out. Oh, stretchy tunnel. The loops and everything on this coaster are so much fun. 
guys have never been on this and you go to Disneyland, what you doing? Be sure to do it. It's not that scary though, but it has a beautiful view of the Disney park. Is this the drop? I think it's the drop. Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, there's a drop. Whoa. That ride is so much fun. All right. This one looks a little scary. So this guy looks like he's sitting off the edge of a building, kind of similar to the one that I did. I'm kind of curious about this is going to escalate. Whoa. Wait, what? They're facing like literally almost flat to the ground off the edge of a tall building. <gasps> that is so scary, but I kind of want to know where I can ride this. You know, I'm just, I'm just wondering, asking for a friend, where's this ride? I might want to do it someday because I'm insane. Um, that looks so fun though. I mean, imagine the view you'd get. Wouldn't be a good view if you died, but you know. All right. So this is also another completion of scariest ones ever. This one is called the brain drain and it's in Florida. Oh, it's a water slide. Oh, the ones that drop you from your feet. These ones scare me a little bit. Yeah. You stand there on the trap door and it randomly just releases. I've always been too scared to do those. I don't know why. <laughs> just because I'm a little scared sometimes of those kind of things. Ooh, imagine like you hit your back or something when like the door drops. Oh my gosh, you're going so fast. <gasps> I've heard a lot of people have gotten really bad injuries on these trap door water slides though, like breaking their back and their legs and stuff. All right, what is this? Whoa, the world's fastest roller coaster, Formula Rasa. How fast? 240 kilometers. Whoa. Uh, the train coaster accelerates to its top speed in 4.9 seconds using a hydraulic launch. Oh, wow. That is pretty impressive though, but there doesn't seem to be any like loops or anything crazy, but that is one fast coaster. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to smash a like and leave a nice comment down below. I always love to read the comments, guys. Like seriously, you guys always make my day. Uh, let me know what you guys think about those rides. Would you guys ride any of those coasters? I definitely would because I'm a little bit crazy sometimes. Also guys, let me know what you guys wanna see in a future video. I always wanna know what you guys wanna see. Um, I love reading the comments. So let me know what you guys want me to make next. And be sure to check out my other social medias linked down below, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok. It's been Lizzie. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.